Hey you guys, welcome to my new channel, Character Try. I just thought I'd try a bunch of stuff out, pretty much like a little testing site and um, DIY projects and all that other stuff. But today I'm going to show you guys how to make a grocery bag dispenser. Um, you just put the grocery bags in on top and then you just pull them out. Um, this is one of the first projects I learned on my sewing machine. So this is what I'm going to teach you guys how to do. You only really need three things. You need a piece of fabric. Any measurement you really want, um, it depends on how big you want your grocery bag. This is just a good little medium size piece of fabric. I want to say it's 22 inches by 24, I think. Um, I'm not sure, but I'll leave it in the description below. You will need elastic. This is a quarter inch elastic um, and iron. And I'll show you guys later why you'll need an iron. You'll need a safety pin, and I would recommend a pretty large safety pin. And of course your sewing machine. So first thing you're going to do is iron your edge. At least an inch to an inch and a half, I would think. Because you still need a little bit of room to put in your safety pin to beat the elastic through it. So you do it on one end. And then you're going to flip it around to the other side. And then you're going to do the same thing on that side. At least an inch to an inch and a half. And then this is what it's going to look like when you're done. You're going to fold it in. If you can't tell. You're going to have wrong side up and then fold it. And it just this just makes it easier to sew. Just that small area. Okay, now after you've sewn your two edges, what you're going to do is get the other edges that you haven't sewn. Um, turn it inside out, and you're going to fold those edges together, the inside out part. Make sure that you have it inside out though, because if you don't, then the print's going to be on the inside and it's going to look stupid. When you're sewing the edges together, make sure you sew below that edge that you just sewed. Because if you don't, then it's going to close this hole up, and then you won't be able to feed the elastic through. So once you're done sewing your edge, it should look a little something like this. With the zigzag stitch, I don't know if I mentioned that, but the seam should be like that. And then once you fold it inside out, you'll have a little bit of what's starting to look like the grocery bag. It sews it in together, that way you don't have to worry about the edges and all that. You're going to get your safety pin and about six inches of your um, elastic. But what you're going to do is get your safety pin in the end of your elastic and then you're just gonna pin it through the elastic close it up get your fabric and then feed it through one of the openings that you just sewed so you're just gonna feed it on through and the easiest way to do it I've learned is just to gather it and then you just let it go through Make sure you keep a hold of your end though because once you get it lost you're going to have to feed it all the way through and then um, go back and start over. You're going to use a straight stitch on this um, part right here because if you do the zigzag then it might miss it and then it'll just slip through. So you're just going to do a straight stitch on this one. Okay, once you've sewn both edges and cut off the elastic and um, sewn it but make sure you do the zigzag stitch so it stays in place. You're just going to turn it inside out, and voila, you have your grocery bag dispenser. Next week I'm going to show you guys how to make a cute little clutch purse with a little bow in it. I was experimenting with this one, so don't judge me, but um, I did the inside with a little cotton and then I put a little pocket inside here too, so I just need to go get the stuff for it and then I can do it. I was originally going to do these videos on Monday, but I think since I posted it on Wednesday, um, I'm just going to end up doing them on, on Wednesday, unless I change my mind and start doing them on Monday again. But until then, I will do them Wednesday. So if you guys want me to do anything else, want me to try something out or test it out or try and make something and make it easier for you guys to do it, just let me know in my comments. Uh, like and subscribe to my channel. And if you haven't already, subscribe to my other channel. It's my vlog channel. It's Missy Rissy May. Um, I just vlog with my family. Thanks for watching, you guys.